Me one more time. Welcome to Parental Control. Feature Block All Apps Internet. App provides feature via which you can block all apps internet. Go to Filter Internet. Block All Apps Internet. Before enabling the switch, make sure you have Filter Internet option in Child Device enabled with notification on top saying Internet Moderation is running. Once you enable this option, it will block all apps internet in the child device. Let's try to browse some websites in Chrome, and none of it will get loaded. Similarly, apps like WhatsApp, Instagram won't be able to access internet as well. If you want to unblock internet, then simply switch off the "Block All Apps Internet" option from Parent Device. Let's check internet in Child Device, and it's working. Welcome to Parental Control feature: Block Adult Sites. App provides feature via which you can block adult content. Go to Filter Internet, Block Adult Sites. Before enabling it, make sure you download adult sites list in child's phone by scrolling to bottom and clicking on Download icon. Make sure you have Filter Internet option in child device enabled, with notification on top saying Internet moderation is running. Now, parent device simply enables the block adult sites option, which will block more than 400 adult sites in your child's device. Welcome to Parental Control feature email report. Go to Alerts Report. Parents can get an email report every day to see what their child did through the day with their device. Before enabling the switch, make sure you have more than 75% setup completeness done in the child's device. To do so, just have maximum numbers of permission given in child device. Once you enable this option in Parent, then every 24 hours you will get an email, which would be having details as shown. You will get how much time they have spent on the device, which apps they have used most, locations they have visited. And if you click on any location, it will take you to Google Maps with that location pointed. You can also see what websites they have been browsing. For example, here you can see Facebook.com, Instagram, etc. You will also get to see call logs, SMS logs, and warning if generated. Lastly, you can check what brightness they have set in their phone. Professionals recommend it to be kept below 50%. Welcome to Parental Control feature: Filter Internet Browsing. App provides feature via which you can block some specific websites. Go to Filter Internet, Filter Browsing. We have kept some default websites which you can select to block. For example, you don't want your child to browse Facebook.com, and you manually add any website by clicking on the plus icon at top. Let us add. ESPN.com. Make sure you have Filter Internet option in Child Device enabled, with notification on top saying Internet moderation is running. Now, Parent Device simply enables the Block Adult Sites option, which will block more than 400 adult sites on your child's device. Welcome to Parental Control feature location monitor. App provides features via which you can monitor child device location. Go to location and you'll find three options. Before using any of the options, make sure in your child's device location permission is enabled and GPS is enabled as well. You can get exact current location of your child by using first option current child's location. Clicking on it will show you a notification having child's device latitude and longitude. Clicking on notification will directly take you to a default map app with location pointed. You can also check previous 24 hours locations where your child had visited. Simply click on location history, which will give you all location, and clicking on any link will let you see the location on a map. You can always click on refresh at top. To fetch latest location history, welcome to Parental Control feature lock child apps. App provides features via which you can lock all apps in a child's device. Go to lock apps, 
Lock all apps. Once you enable this option, all the apps in the child's device will get locked and they won't be able to access it. We have enabled it. Let's try to open WhatsApp in the child's device. It's locked. If they enter wrong pen, they won't be able to access the app. If they enter correct pen, then they will be able to use the app. Let's see for other apps. It's locked. You can unlock the child's device by switching off this feature from parent. Now you can see in child's device apps are unlocked. Welcome to Parental Control. Feature Lock Selected App. App provides features via which you can lock some of the selected apps in the child's device. Go to Lock Apps, Lock Selected Apps, and click on it. Here you will see a list of most used apps in the child's device. Let's say you want to lock WhatsApp and Google Play Store in the child's device. Simply select both the apps and click on Save and Send to Child button at top. If you don't click on the button after selecting, then changes won't reflect in the child's device. Now you can see WhatsApp and Play Store are locked in the child's device, while other apps like Gmail could be used. Welcome to Parental Control. Feature Most Browsed Websites. Once you enable Filter Internet option in your child's device, you'll be able to get websites your child browses the most. Go to Filter Internet. Click in Filter Browsing. At the top right corner, click on Refresh, which will give you a notification, and on clicking it, you'll be able to see what websites the child is browsing through. You can see several websites here, and if you think it is not proper for your child, you can block it using this feature. Welcome to Parental Control. Feature Recent App Usage. Here you can see Parent and Child Device. In Parent Device, scroll to the bottom to App Usage section, which allows app usage of Child Device and simply click on Refresh, which will give you a notification, and clicking on it will show you the latest list on app usage on Dashboard itself. You can see this app is used 54 times for 1 hour and 29 minutes. Welcome to Parental Control, Feature Screen Timer. App provides feature via which you can monitor lock and unlock period in your child's device. Go to Screen Timer option. You can see three options. First option is to change screen brightness of child's device. Second is to schedule unlock, in which you can schedule when you want your child's device to be totally unlocked. If you enable this switch, then your child's device will be unlocked on every Saturday between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Similarly, you can see for dinner schedule. Once you enable or disable any option, don't forget to click on Save and Send to Child button at bottom for it to reflect in the child's device. Welcome to Parental Control. Feature Suspicious Text Alert. App provides feature via which you can verify that your child is not getting cyberbullied or is in any bad company. Go to Social Media. Click on Suspicious Text Alerts. You can click on Add More Keywords and see that certain keywords we have by default added, but you can add any keyword by clicking on plus icon at top. Now if your child receives any message having any of the keywords, then it will be recorded and you could get it in parent device. You can see this message was received from this number having this keyword from this app. Let me show you a live demo. I will send a message to child having gun keyword. As you can see, child received message on WhatsApp. Now simply click on refresh at top to fetch latest alerts. Click on the notification which will show what message was received and which keyword it contains. Make sure you have notification access permission granted in child device in order for this feature to work properly.